Today we're going to be cleaning these hazy headlights here. This is a 1997 BMW 328iS. Now I've tried to clean these headlights before with some Meguiar's product and they turned hazy again so I figured I'd try a different product that I've seen here on YouTube. It's this Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. It says it's supposed to shine metals but we're going to see how it works on headlights here. So first up we're going to have to clean the headlight. I'm just going to take some water here and if your headlight has some uh, pits or bugs in it or something like that you want to use some soap as well but my headlights, wa headlights weren't too dirty. Just spray it down with some water here and wipe it off with a clean rag. You want to make sure when you put the mother's product on it, the Magan Aluminum Polish, you want to make sure that it is a clean and dry surface. You don't want to have any extra water droplets or any grease or bugs or anything like that. So what I'm going to be using is a Master Pro uh, buffer wheel and also I'm going to be using a buffer pad as well. And I'll leave it a link in the description of all the products that I use. So we're going to use this uh, 20 volt Dewalt drill here. Uh, everybody probably has a drill so we'll go ahead and uh, use the drill here and then you just hook the buffer pad to it and it's simple as that. Also later in the video I'm going to use a buffer wheel uh, as well and that seems to work a little better but I know everybody doesn't have it. It's actually really cheap if you want to get one yourself. I think I paid $15 which is obviously cheaper than that drill. I think that drill was about $100. If you want to get a buffer wheel yourself I'll leave a link in the description of where you can get a buffer wheel. I'm going to tape it off here so you can see the uh, pretty dramatic effect of what it looks like before and after. Right now you look at it, it might not look like it's too bad or too hazy but when you come back off of it you can see that the headlight is actually pretty hazy so we'll see a pretty dramatic effect here with the tape. Just apply it with your fingers. Uh, my fingers were uh, I mean, pretty clean. I just finished uh, I think tightening belts up in my Toyota 4Runner and uh, clean my hands with some of that goop cleaner and apply it just with your finger it'd be alright I applied it to the entire surface just try to cover the whole thing and then you should be good to go get your buffer wheel make sure your battery is completely charged and then get two hands on the drill and start buffing. Try to keep the pad away from the paint. You don't want to burn through the clear coat by pressing too hard on the paint. Once you have most of the polish buffed out of the headlight, you're probably good to stop. You'll start to see a shine but then you'll see a little bit of a haze here. Go ahead and take a clean rag, make sure it's dry and then buff the rest out. And you can see a pretty dramatic difference here, pretty cool.
When we go over top of the headlight, you can see there's uh, quite a bit of difference here. So if you want to do two polishes, go right ahead, or a third. I'll speed it up here, and we can see that there is even a better difference again. Now the question is, is this going to last? I did this probably a couple months ago, and I think the only way you're going to have a product clean your headlights, take the haze out, and make it last is to do this and then immediately apply a clear coat afterwards. You can see a pretty dramatic difference here. Go over top and you can see there's less haziness on the right and more haziness on the left. Take the tape off and there's a pretty big difference here. Pause it right there, you can see that there's quite a significant difference here. You can see that what we basically did was buffed off the top layer over there on the right, the top layer of the headlight, but it actually removed some of the plastic, some of the oxidized and pitted plastic to go down to a neat, uh, cleaner, more neat plastic finish. So if you do this too much, eventually you won't have a headlight, but it looks good for now. We're going to go ahead and finish the rest of the headlight here. We're going to jump over to the driver's side and then I'll show you how good the buffing wheel actually is. This buffing wheel wasn't too expensive. If you want to get one yourself, I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find it on Amazon. And just like before, get your clean, dry rag and buff out the rest of the polish. Now you can tell that there's quite a bit of difference. Now that we got the left side looking just like the right side, let's compare the before and after. So here's what it looked like before and then after. You can tell that you definitely can see the headlights and the, and the bulb behind it much better. Quick before clip of it and then after again. Let's jump over here to the driver's side. Do it again on the driver's side. Try not to get it on the paint or the clear coat, just so you don't burn that off and then you start to have some clear coat peeling and paint peeling. It's definitely much easier to buff it with a wheel buffer than it is the drill. I know everybody probably has a drill and it's pretty easy. And if you wanted to do this job here just in an afternoon, you could do it in about 15 minutes. Head down to your local auto body store, pick up some of this mother's and then put it on your drill. Now the auto body store probably won't have a buff wheel buffer like this, however they might, if you're lucky. You'll have to wait a couple days and pick one of these up off of Amazon. And there you go, there's the driver's side. Headlight, all buffed out with the Mother's Magnet Aluminum Polish. Now I know I don't think this was a product intended for headlights, but it worked out pretty good. Basically what we're doing is wiping off the oxidized and pitted layer of the headlight. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you liked that video, subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more do-it-yourself videos. Thanks for watching.